This is a CT scanner, and these are images from that CT scanner of patients taking Ozempic for weight loss. And in this video, I'm going to use those images to show you exactly what happens to patients who are using that medicine for the sole purpose of losing weight, and it's not good. If you're not familiar with Ozempic, it was originally a medication used for the management of type 2 diabetes. However, after using it, it was noted that some of the side effects of the medication were weight loss. And what's interesting is side effects for certain medications that were discovered over time that turned out to be beneficial in other patient scenarios isn't terribly uncommon. In fact, the medication Viagra was actually designed to make your heart pump better. Turns out it actually made something else pump better, but that's beside the point. Over the last years I've been working in the hospital, I've treated over 4,000 different patients, and with increasing frequency, I'm seeing patients use Ozempic for the sole purpose of weight loss. And in this video, while additionally explaining why it's so bad, I'll also explain why so many people are taking it for two reasons. The number one reason is all of the success stories that literally flood social media. The second reason is for a while there, mainstream media was also pushing this medication like crazy. And I'll address both of those points in a minute. But to truly understand what makes Ozempic so bad for the long-term health of a patient, let's take a look at these first two CT scans. These are the CT scan images of a 38-year-old female who weighs about 215 pounds. One of the first things that you may notice is just how much of the patient's body is adipose tissue compared to true human anatomy. But for the purpose of this this video, what I really want you to focus on is the muscle mass. For example, take a look at the size of these paraspinous muscles and these psoas musculature. And so what does that have to do with the Zempic? Well, I want to show you the same type of CT scan on a 60 year old patient and let's look at the difference in the musculature. You can clearly see the size difference in the musculature between these two age groups. As we all age, our bone and muscles naturally begin to atrophy. And that's the problem. Listen to this. The manufacturers of Ozempic are honest about how it works. They say one of the benefits is it induces early satiety. The patients that are ending up in the hospital because of the side effects like nausea and abdominal cramping are basically saying it just makes them forget about eating or because of the nausea, they don't really want to eat. The problem with forgetting about eating is eating is 100% necessary for a healthy lifestyle. We eat to obtain essential vitamins, proteins, and amino acids. When you don't consume these essential ingredients for daily life, the processes in the body that are dependent on them like bone, muscle, hair development, they all suffer. While taking Ozempic will likely cause you to lose weight, the problem is it will cause you to lose everything else instead. Remember the two CT scans I showed you of the 30 year old and the 60 year old? As humans, our bones and muscles naturally atrophy as we get older. Anything that we do while we are younger and healthier that unnaturally accelerates that process absolutely has to be avoided. And if you still don't know why that has to be avoided, take a look at my last healthcare video that I did that shows what happens as we age. An additional problem with Ozempic is the manufacturers are very honest about what happens when you stop taking it. It is clear without significant lifestyle changes like diet and exercise, you will regain the weight that you lost. The problem is without the appropriate exercising, the only thing that you're going to regain is the fat that you lost and all that accelerated muscle and bone loss that you accrued, that's not coming back. So the fact of the matter is by taking Ozempic, once you stop taking it, you are literally increasing the likelihood that you are turning yourself into those characters from Wally. I know that sounds and looks extreme, but once you stop taking Ozempic, you will regain the fat that you lost, but you will not have the musculoskeletal support structure to continue to leave a healthy lifestyle. And again, if you think that's extreme, trust me, I see it every single day. So if Ozempic is so bad, why are people taking it? I talked briefly about all the success stories that you see all over social media. The benefit for most of these influencers and celebrities that are taking Ozempic is they also have the time and resources to employ weight trainers, personal trainers, diet dietitians to avoid the bone and muscle loss that's going to occur while taking Ozempic. In the mainstream media, why are they pushing it? Well, that's an easy one. How does mainstream media get their funding? Advertising. Who pays for a lot of mainstream media's ads? pharmaceutical companies. You will see way back in 2008, the makers of Ozempic were already given NPR over a thousand dollars a year. And NPR is not alone. They advertise across all the mainstream media companies. Did you know there are only two countries on the entire planet that allow pharmaceutical companies to advertise on TV? And yep, we're one of them. Ozempic will work for some people, but only those people who have the discipline to diet and exercise while they're taking it. And while this may seem like a harsh statement, if you don't have the discipline to diet and exercise while you're not taking it, you're not going to have the discipline to do it while you are taking it and you're going to develop these problems that I've mentioned in the video. So how do you lose weight? 
Well, I recognize that's not easy either. I'll put a link in the video that I made about my weight loss video a couple of years ago in the description, but trust me, I really believe based on my patient encounters over the last year, Ozempic is not going to be the long-term solution for an overwhelming majority of the people who are considering taking it. So I'm starting to incorporate more healthcare videos in the channel. If you get anything from the video, hit the like button. If you have questions, put them in the comments and I'll see you next time.